When I think back of my time on MasterChef and I think of Poe, I always think of how creative you were in the kitchen. Thanks, um, Jazzy. How experimental you were also. You know, it's these dishes that we thought would definitely not come together. Sometimes they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> They're, they sometimes did. they're a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them were actually quite complex. Um, but today, a little bit different. No, not weird and not complex. <laughs> so it's good. So we're going to do a dark hockey and noodle. Mm -hmm. This is a dish that I've grown up with. Great quick Sunday oh. lunch dish. And mm -hmm. my mum always cooks it because the grandkids all can eat it and it's not, you know, a spicy dish. Yeah. And this is the home version of it. So if you eat it in the streets, you're going to get that beautiful sort of um, smokiness that you get from a cured wok and really high heat. But today we're just going to do a really home-friendly version of it. And it doesn't matter. It's just sort of like a bit stewy and put still, it together yeah, put the whole thing on the table that's that's yeah. what that's what we like to have at home yeah. of course yeah, yeah. just Great. do one wok dish so really quick mm. so we've got pork okay. so if you can mm. slice it lengthways three times and then as thin so just little little thin pieces yep. yep Great. and the thing with stir fries is you do need to prep everything because it goes so quickly i think that's the number one rule once everything's yep. ready to go yeah I mean, five, ten minutes, it's on the table, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. Now, with Malaysian cooking, sometimes I do get a little bit confused because th there is there is a mixture of, of cultures going on there. It's, it's quite multicultural, isn't it? It is. It comprises three main cultures, so Chinese, Malay and Indian. And so all the sort of foods have fused. That's the thing that's a bit confusing for the punters. It's not that they haven't eaten it, they just don't know how to identify what is Malaysian. Mm. And then this is some fish cake. Fish cake? Yeah. Right. You can just buy that in the frozen section. If you're lucky, you can get it fresh. So we've got prawns here, we've got the fish cake, we've got the pork. But if you want to use one or the other, um, you don't have to use all three That's of them right. together, do you? Yeah, if you don't like fish or shellfish, you can use beef, you can use anything. I'm just going to butterfly the prawns. I find it just cooks a bit quicker because obviously you're dividing that in half. Now, you've yes. done your pork. Okay, can you help me out with the vegetables? Yes, I can. So all you need to do is just cut all the veggies into three, four centimetre sections, including the bok choy. So I'll start on a hot pan. And I guess if you want to get the kiddies involved with this recipe, it's not too spicy. It's no, not, no, no, no spice, no spice at all. Yeah. yeah. Now you notice that I didn't wait for the oil to sizzle before I let the garlic go in there. Mm -hmm. I find that if your oil's really hot, the garlic will just burn right away, which you don't want to happen. So it's perfectly fine to put it into cold oil and, and just let it come to heat. It's fine. It does really ruin a dish. If that garlic's taken too far and it starts to turn, you know, gold bitter. around and black, it, yeah, it really makes everything bitter, doesn't it? Yeah. We do like golden. Of course. But yeah. I find it's just such a short amount of time before it goes black yeah. that it's better just to do it this way. Mm. So as soon as you sort of see a pool of gold around the edge, you know it's ready to let the meat go in. And you can see what I just did there. I cut them nice and thin. Yes. Um, because, you know, pork will take just a little bit longer to cook than the prawns. Just a little bit. Yes. But we've made them almost the same size, so it should cook quite nicely together. So you can see it's starting to go a little bit golden. In goes the pork. So we're just going to let this pork brown on both sides for a few minutes before we add the pork. Okay. So that's good now. See how it's nice and brown? Get those for you. So all in? Yep, all in. No mucking around no. with this. And also all the fish cake. And you just want to cook the prawns through, which won't take very long, of course. And I love the combination of pork prawns. <laughs> <laughs> I like it fish all together. Cake. Fish cakes. Yeah, really I know. Nice. I think we're starting to do it a little bit in high-end cooking now, isn't yeah. aren't they? Like mixing it around. But otherwise, it's quite an Asian thing. Yeah. Yeah, chefs used to always tell me, what's with the mixed meat? You and Asians and mixed meat. <laughs> I'm going to add my noodles. noodles. So they're just hockey and noodles. Hockey and noodles. And then I'm going to add this caramel soy. Now this... Wow. People often mistake this for ketchup manis. It's not ketchup manis because... Taste this for me and tell me what you're tasting. And then this is oyster sauce. It's not very wow. salty, is it? Mm. No, it's not salty. It's that rich, almost molasses-like. It is. It's a little bit sweet, though, still. Like, it's that nice... Yeah, sweet. Mm. but it's got what character. Is? It's kind of slight... Exactly. Sort of and this is chicken stock, but you're more than welcome to use water. I okay. use water all the time. So that's it. Just give it a bit of a stir. Mm -hmm. And then pop the lid on and let it just simmer for a little bit. Wonderful. And I guess these veggies, we keep them just to the last minute. Yes. So we want them to stay really crispy. Yep. Maintain crunch. Correct.
which I did with the veggies, I actually turned the heat off and let the veggies cook in the residual heat, just so I know that they're going to maintain that crunch. Because nothing worse, you, you do want that crunch, do you? You don't want, you know, mushy vegetables no. with this. With Asian dishes, it's just a real turn off, so. Look, have a look at that, look at the colour of that. Blue plate with those striking colours. How Whoa, yum does that look? Yum. <laughs> Kids love this dish. Right. All the mums out there, this is a sure winner. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's I not promise. spicy. It's not spicy at all. Okay, wonderful. Should we try? Yes. Fork for you. Thank you. Let's have a taste. I'm gonna have some of that fish cake. Yeah. And it's meant to have that, you know, really nice slippery texture. Mmm. You know how we usually have Sunday roast? Mm. Sunday roast no more. Poey's hockey and noodles Sunday instead. Noodles. <laughs>